Well, the end of season has come and we have been promoted to the Premier League. And I'm telling you now, the run-in has not been pretty. 1-0 away from home following on from that Crystal Palace victory, Mezayin, but the only goal of the game. And then this happened. 1-1 against Luton, 95th minute equaliser. 1-1 against Wigan. They were down to 10 men for 6 minutes. We were getting beat 1-0 till the 60th minute. 2-2. Two -two. At home to QPR, Ruben Burgos and Alexi saving us from a 2-0 defeat. 67 minutes, 86 minutes. 1-1 one -one against Brighton. Terence Platt equalising after they went in front. Finally, we've got a winning ways at home against Cardiff, winning 4-0. Osvaldo Rojas, Terence Platt, Sofia and Mezzanine and Alexi. Al Alexi, 4-0. And yeah, Everton are now sitting top of the table with one game to go. We have completely bottled winning this league. <laughs> Four draws in the last five games is absolutely unforgivable especially against the level of opposition we're being facing but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day we're still promoted to the premier league but it all comes down to this are we going to win the league or are we finishing second everton of course have got a game left themselves and they play stoke away big opportunity come on stoke you can do this you need to finish uh try and finish fourth or not finish sixth you know they need they need to win come on stoke city our opponents today are already relegated Swansea City away from home. Who's betting they beat us? I'd take that bet. We're at a pretty much full strength squad right now. Not too many injuries to speak of. So this is how we're lining up. Gunnarsson, Burgos, Santos, Vossin and Daly in the defence. Benacer and Rojas in the centre with Platt, Stanko and Mezayin. Playing behind our finish boy Alexi. First highlight of the game comes two minutes in. It will bid well. It's absolutely chopped down stank or there. Is he getting a red card for that? I, I wouldn't say it was a red card offence, but it might well be. The referee he walks over two minutes in and gives him the red card. The highlight continues as well with the free kick. Rojas is claimed by Bazuna. Bazunu? Gavin. That's his name. This highlight better be leading to an opportunity here. It's still continuing after the free kick. Alexi heads it down to Mezayin on this left-hand side. Uh, he's going to go for goal himself here. No, he's not. He plays a batter plat. Burgos is overlapping on the right-hand side. Can he whip the ball in? He can. Alexis there. He hits the bar. And it gets cleared. We're back on the attack again with Stankwa. Finds Luke Daly bombing into the box. He goes for goal. Great block by the defender. Mezayin keeps it in. Is he going to cross it in? He is. Stankwa's there. And Samuel Stankwa. We're having some issues with him. Um, I've got to speak about. He has a minimum fee release clause of uh, 14 and a half million um, in his deal. Uh... He's worth 12 and a half right now. So he won't sign a new deal either. He wants 60k a week. Um, yeah, we might have some issues with Samuel over the course of the summer. But he's got a goal a day. He's 10th goal of the season from attack and midfield. We will take that all day. We are going to have to keep a little bit of an eye on the latest scores. Um, who haven't played in the playing Stoke. So we'll have a look at that once this highlight is done. Burgos driving forward from the central midfield position. Uh, he completely does his man there and Mezzayin gets his head on it. His 13th goal of the season puts us 2-0 up. Where was this free-flowing attack on football in the previous five games apart from the Cardiff game? Absolutely no idea where it went. But um, we're find, finding our feet once again after a bad run of form. Burgos, Mezzayin, combo, 13 goals of the season. Where are Stoke? Still in a little Stoke and Everton. And that is going to be it for half time. Them going down to 10 men has been absolutely beautiful. We barely need to worry about this match now. I say that hesitantly. But um, I would imagine that the boys are going to see this through and hopefully bag a couple of more goals. We're all relying on Stoke City to do us a massive, massive favour as Platt goes close with his header. Corner for Swansea. Svensson is playing it in. <sighs> I mean, why did I even mention that we were just cruising? Just go Gavardiol. Gets his goal and brings Swansea back into the game. <laughs> Don't do it. I've, I've got a feeling here that Stoke are going to draw with Everton and we're going to draw with Swansea. There's another highlight 53 minutes in at Swansea who are in possession. Thankfully, Luke Daly picks up the ball in the left back spot. I need me two goal cushion to relax again. Daly gets past his man. He whips the ball in. Platts there back post. He gets it. Terence. Come on, Terence. He's 13th goal of the season. Beating Gavin in goal. To put us 3-1 up. I can relax a little bit more now. It's still nil nil in the Stoke Everton game. I believe it is. Um, we'll continue with that. It was 55 minutes in. Daly brings the ball forward down this left hand side. He turns back on himself. This is a bit crowded out by the Swansea defence. They are really defended in numbers. Burgos 
receives the ball on the right. He whips it in. Alexi, yes, Alexi gets his 24th goal of this season. He's been an absolute revelation, as has Alexi. He's ousted the wonder kid from PSG to be our starting striker, having trying to fit him in on that right hand side just to give him game time. Um, but now he's well and truly staking his claim for a starting spot up front for us next season. It's probably not going to happen. Um, our new signing is definitely going to be our starter, I would imagine. But Alexi, you'll always be fondly remembered. Come on, Stoke, take the lead. Just to let me relax a little bit more about your game. It is still nil-nil with only 20 minutes on the clock. 10 minutes to go. We've made no changes. I will make some changes. Ruben Burgos can come off and make quirk. Terence Platt for Oru. Mezayin for Coronado. Let's, uh, 10 minutes. Come on, 5 minutes. Come on, Stoke, hold out. Do not concede. Moise Keane, sit down, please. Don't score. Two minutes to go. There's a highlight now again. Completely forgot what we're even playing. Uh, Quirk picks up the ball on the right-hand side. Benassar. Uh, what's happening right here? Are we going to whip this in? Santos. Quirk. Don't don't, don't shoot. Nah, thank God for that. Coronado whips it back post. Oru's there. He heads just over the bar. Two minutes remaining. Stoke. Everton still nil-nil. And we've won the league, boys. We've won the league despite doing our best to absolutely mess it up. We've managed to do it. Swansea 1, Huddersfield 4, Stoke doing us a massive, massive favour and we've won the league title. And there is the confirmation. Huddersfield on 101 points, Everton on 101 points but our superior goal difference makes all the difference. Plus 65 is pretty high. Well done lads. We've managed to scrape ourselves over the line. So the Huddersfield board are obviously quite happy with the win. They were only expecting us to get promoted this season, whichever way that came. But we have now won the championship title for the second time in our career after doing it with Barnsley before. Let's have a quick check and see how our boys in the Premier League have been doing. Barnsley finishing in 10th. Birmingham finish in, in 12th. That is absolutely fine by me. Who has been their main performers for Birmingham this season? Salenza. The Italian we signed. I'd rather. I wish I didn't give. <laughs> I wish I didn't give Birmingham him. Look at the state of that already. Signed him on a free for Brum, and they are definitely taking full advantage of that. Wanted by most of the major sides in England. Pablo Martinez trio having a good season. Um, who else is doing? Kaichi. They ruined him, by the way. Completely ruined Kaichi. He's on loan at Dynamo. I mean, he's the one thirty million for him. I would buy. I would buy him. If he was for a reasonable fee. But he's still got three years left on his deal. It's unlikely we're going to be able to sign Keiji for our season in the Premier League with um, with Huddersfield. And obviously Lewis and Montanier was scoring. The top goal scorer in the Premier League for Barnsley this season. Another very, very good player um, for one of our former clubs. I wouldn't mind. Uh, can, I, can we loan him for the season, please, Barnsley? Just, just for this year. Our budgets have already been decided for next season. We do have a £40 million war chest and £238,000 available in the wages to be able to play with. That's a decent sum of money. We'll definitely be able to do some damage with that, especially with having such a big squad and some players who I wouldn't mind selling for hopefully big fees to uh, be able to bolster that just a little bit more. So here we are. Here are our end of season awards. Samuel Stanko. Get player of the season. <laughs> Please agree a new deal before someone triggers your activation clause. West Brom are currently interested. £14.5 million is the fee. They would have to pay to activate it. Hopefully we can get them tied down before that becomes too much of an, ex an issue. Alexi and Ruben Burgos completing the top three. We'll take a look at that in a second. Alexi was signing the season. Young player of the season was Samuel Stanko. Let's see the goal of the season, shall we? So it was from the 4-0 home win against Everton and we'll see this here Coronado our backup left winger picks up the ball about 30 yards out bangs the top corner worthy worthy goal of the season that one so the the board only expect us to fight bravely against relegation that is absolutely fine by me no other uh, expectations are really anything added working within wage budget that's obvious I mean I'm not planning on spending 700k when we've only got 650 Congratulations on being promoted. Can you keep us up? So, all things being perfect. Um, these are the positions that are filled already. Gunnarsson in goal is good enough. Just about. If we've got money left at the transfer window, once we've already filled the other positions, and there's, there's a goalkeeper available who's massively improved, 
I would then go for them. But if not, Gunnarsson will be our starting goalkeeper. Right back and both centre backs, I think we're going to need a complete rework of the defence. Uh, Rodrigo Santos is probably our first choice centre back. That's actually at the club, and he's currently wanted, and I'm probably end up <laughs> probably going to end up selling him. To be quite frank with you, but um, complete new defence apart from Luke Dealy, who will be our starting left back. Uh, we've obviously got the other left back we signed in January, who will be playing back up as well. So we're pretty well covered at the left back spot, um, and he's. I think he'd be more than good enough for the Premier League. He's currently rated as a good player for most Skybet Championship sides with the potential to be a good Premier League uh, left-back. I think he's more than good enough to be a starter in our squad. Uh, deep line playmate we're going to need. Central midfielder we're going to need. Right wing, we've got Terence Platt. He looks very, very good. And he's currently rated by my coach as a good player for most Premier League sides. So in the effort of trying to save some money somewhere... I think we're going to be, have to be happy with him starting on the right-hand side. Stanko as well. We're going to have to tie him down to a new deal before he gets pinched off us. But I'm more than happy for him to be starting in attack and midfield. Still got a bit of potential to grow. What is he listed as? Currently operating at a Premier League level. Um, I agree with that. I think he is good enough for the Premier League. And of course, we've got our new signing coming in, Damien Maillard, who will be our starting striker for the next season. So, Alexi will drop to the bench and be a backup right winger slash striker. Um, I have put in who I'm more than happy with to be our backup players. We've got the right back was signed in January. If he's our backup, I'm fine with that. Uh, Santos, of course, the centre half. Mick Quirk, the centre half. Dulce, uh, the left back that we signed. Uh, Benassar, the defensive midfielder. Fontana, the central midfielder. Coronado, the left winger. And then Alexi. All of these people who are still in the squad, all the loans, of course, will return. I don't think I'll be going in for any of them. Maybe Boissonin, um, the centre-half from Atletico Madrid. Depends on what sort of options are actually available to us. I'm wanting to sign players basically like Andrin Maida. I really, really want a, one centre-half to be proper top quality. One of these positions to be proper top quality. Um, them and me two positions that I'm targeting to spend the majority of my money. And then the rest of the money, the money could be used to wheel and deal around them. To, but like we did with Birmingham City, we signed Andrew Maida and Mauricio Chan, who were far and above, a, a, they were already a top Premier League player when we signed them, and they had potential to grow. Them are the sort of signs I'm going to be targeting for next season. Of course, it's easy to say that before you've seen the lists and who's available and who's actually interested in joining the club, um, but that's, that's the plan anyway. A lot of work to do over the summer. Um, if we are to even get anywhere close to Barnsley, who finished sixth in the Premier League in the first season? We're going to need to make some very, very astute signings. So, a big summer ahead from me. I hope you're looking forward to this. This is my favourite part of the save, by the way. Getting promoted to the Premier League, then that summer transfer window, when you really reshape the squad and get it to a sort of standard that you know can at least compete in the Premier League, hopefully in the top half. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.